the story of a dream chaser. This story happened when I was appointed as Bronze Melodia, a position exclusive to the Oak family, charged with listening to the problems and vexations of dreamscape residents, and providing them with the relevant guidance. It was during that period that I had the opportunity to hear voices from all corners of the dreamscape. Joy. Sorrow. Arrogance. Regret. The complex tapestry of human nature that formed the world. And I was fortunate to catch a glimpse of it. He was a dream chaser. And an illegal stowaway. Just like the rest of them, he came to Panacone in search of a better life. Except that, to most people, the price he paid. I suppose you could say it was everything. He told me, I sold everything I could at home. The house, the land, even his two children. He said he could not afford to raise them, and that at least they could eat if they lived as slaves. He had a plan in place. He would buy back his children once he had made his fortune, and enjoy Panacone's beautiful dream with them. Alas, his plan to smuggle himself was somewhat clumsy, and he was sniffed out by those pig-headed hounds. After hearing the Dream Chaser's story, I immediately appealed to the Bloodhound family to cease their pursuit. That way, at least he could live peacefully. But I was still too naive to the ways of the world. I did not anticipate that what I thought was a kind gesture would later lead to dire consequences. I'll tell you the outcome soon. Will you do as I did, and try to convince the Bloodhound family to stop their pursuit, or will you remain silent? Leaving him to languish while the- I look forward to everyone's dis- A dream chaser story. If I acted out of kindness, I would probably ask the Bloodhounds to stop it. What cruel repercussion would this choice result in? This question... Surely it has some connection to the baby bird story. I'd probably choose to ask the Bloodhounds to cease their pursuit. Illegal stowaways, or he sold his kids to chase a dr With that thought, there's only one choice. Let the Bloodhound send him back home. It seems you, like me, are pondering whether a different choice could have led to a better outcome. Sadly, his fate would only be more tragic. Say he never gets caught. He would only die from delirium. The methods with which illegal stowaways enter dreams are unorthodox. Not flawless like the hotels. Living in the dreamscape would be a mere pipe dream. Should he be apprehended? Could the hounds afford to turn a blind eye? The answer is a definitive no. They couldn't bear the resulting consequences, and thus wouldn't dare extend a helping hand. As to your choice, I once again offer my heartfelt apologies. And the story this time is my own.